What's up guys, it is T-Ball and I am back with another video before I start. If you guys would leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, your support is greatly appreciated as I will be putting out some great NBA content throughout the rest of this offseason and throughout the regular season as well. So be sure to subscribe so you can stay updated on what my newest video will be coming out. So today, we're going to be breaking down how Derrick Rose fits with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So for a quick background, Derrick Rose has signed a one-year $2.1 million deal with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Will he replace Irving? Well, we don't know yet as Irving has not been traded yet, but we'll see. And I definitely think there is a good chance that Irving does get traded this summer, but he may be traded next summer. Who knows? As there have been reports that Irving has demanded a trade last week, and we don't know where he's going or what the Cavs are going to do with him. But for now, let's just see how Derrick Rose would fit with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So on offense, Rose would be a good fit. He can drive to the rim for the easy finish, or he can kick it out to the open shooters such as Kevin Love, J.R. Smith, and other guys as well. He can also hit the mid-range shot so he can spread the floor a little bit as well, but he still struggles with his three-point shot, so he definitely needs to improve his three-point shot more if he wants to help spread the floor even more for the Cavs. But also he'll be a good fit on offense because of his ability to slash to the rim as he can go backdoor for the cuts from LeBron's passes and get the easy two there as well. So I definitely think Rose could be a good fit for the Cavs on offense, but he would be a great fit if he could even just improve his three-point shot to around 36%, which is about league average. Defensively, Rose is not a good defender, but with less offensive burden on his shoulders, maybe he could try to focus more on D next season as he does still have a lot of athleticism left in the tank and during his MVP season with the Bulls, he was a solid defender. And I definitely think if he focuses more on defense this upcoming season, he would be very helpful for the Cavs as their defense last year was not very good throughout the regular season. So we'll see how he does there. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching this quick little video. I am not home right now, so sorry for the quality if it sounds a little off. And also I'm probably not gonna be putting out too many videos for this week, maybe one or two more, but once I get back home i'm definitely going to put up a lot more videos and we'll see what happens to anthony and irving and all those other guys i'll definitely make a video for those guys and yeah that's about it so thanks guys for watching if you guys did enjoy be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already as your support is greatly appreciated and be sure to leave a comment on your thoughts down on this signing in the comments below and i'll definitely try to get back to you as soon as i can so once again thanks for watching and i hope you guys all have a great one peace